Hello students, welcome to Narayana Live Classes. Today I am here to explain physics assignment related to the topic light reflection and refraction. 26th dated assignment. Let us see question number 1. Define light and write its properties. Light is a form of energy which gives us sense of vision. Because of light, we are able to see the objects. The light rays are coming from the source of light and when they fall on the object and the reflected ray reaches your eye, then you are able to see the object. Then what are the properties of the light ray? Light exhibits dual nature. So it has both wave nature as well as particle nature. Okay, and light travels with a speed of 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second in vacuum or you can say in air. Okay, and the speed of light is related to density of medium which the light ray is traveling or you can say refractive index. Question number 2. Write some illustrations of refractions some illustrations you can call it as applications of refraction okay when the light ray or when you uh, get a pencil in water when you partly immerse the pencil in water you see the pencil somewhat bent in our last session we have discussed about the pencil which is partly immersed in water how you can see that lightly bent like this so like this this is due to refraction third one oval shape of sun in the morning and evening this is also due to refraction and twinkling of stars twinkling of stars is due to atmospheric refraction due to the Varying densities in the atmosphere, you are able to see twinkling. Okay, an object in a denser medium, when seen from a rarer medium, appears to be raised. In the activity of a coin placed in a beaker at the bottom of a vessel which is filled with water, there you can see the coin is just appears to be raised. That is also due to refraction there the light ray is coming from denser medium to rarer medium question number three define lens lens is a transparent medium okay due to the transparency the light ray is passing through that refracting this is called refraction okay the light ray is traveling through the lens here lens is a transparent medium bounded by two spherical surfaces which may be a concave surfaces or two convex surfaces okay question number four what is the difference between convex and concave lens convex lens just now i said the lens is bounded with the two spherical surfaces if two spherical surfaces are concave then it is called as double concave lens. If the two spherical surfaces are convex, then it is called as double convex lens or simply you can say convex lens. Okay. Question number five. Name the different kinds of lenses and draw diagrams to illustrate them. Lenses are of five types. Not only five types students, these five types are enough for our standard okay so here we have convex lens you can call it as double convex lens also concave lens or double concave lens plano convex lens and plano concave lens and finally we have concavo convex lens see here this is a convex lens which is bounded with a two convex surfaces for this convex lens middle part is thicker and the end parts are thin okay 
and coming to the this is a concave lens or double concave lens and this is see plano convex one side is plane and the other side is convex surface bulged so this is a plano convex and now see here this is plano plane surface and this is cave surface concave surface so that's why it is called plano concave surface now see the last one concave convex once i one side is like a concave surface and and the other side is bounded with a convex surface okay these are the five types here question number 6 what is the other name of convex lens okay convex lens is also called as biconvex lens or converging lens why you are calling a convex lens as converging lens because wherever you place the object the rays are coming from the object mostly they will converge at a point except in one condition we will discuss that in next session okay the rays which are coming after refraction in case of a convex lens they will converge at a point okay almost all the rays they will behave like that after refraction in case of convex lens that's why the convex lens is also called as converging lens okay question number 7 what is the other name of concave lens concave lens is also called as diverging lens okay here in case of convex lens after refraction the rays are coming towards a point but in case of concave lens they will depart okay they will be separated after refraction they are moving in the different direction they are not coming uh, towards a point okay that's why this is called a diverging lens okay thank you students stay home stay safe